going on guys it be your boy sketch almighty welcome back to the channel and for you guys that are new to the channel welcome uh i'm back with another tutorial uh, i i kind of slowed down actually i just stopped making tutorials because i felt like uh the tutorials i was making i was like i, I don't think anybody's gonna really like them but after seeing the the views the, the getting the feedback and everything i thought why not keep posting you know i'm helping you guys out and I'm still learning as a mix engineer and, I, and I'm hoping that what I'm learning I can teach you guys so you guys can it can help you guys on your journey uh, when mixing your music when you don't have anybody or you don't have anybody to mix your music or you don't have the money to pay for somebody to mix your music so let's get into it this video is gonna be about parallel compression uh, yeah so let's get into it All right, so right here is a song that is called Poppin'. By the time this video comes out, this song will be out. Uh, so after this video, go ahead and check out the full song. Uh, so I'm gonna play the verse. I'm gonna play the verse. I'm gonna play this first section of the verse, and then um, uh, I'm gonna show you what it sounds like without the pedal compression and with. So here goes the full thing. They get out of pocket. They might just let off the rock. All right, and, and before you guys go in the comments saying, what's going on with your uh, your marker? Uh, I don't know. Last year, it started messing up. So, I don't know. I haven't fixed it. It hasn't really bothered me. Uh, it only does that when I have my uh, focus right set up. So, it, it's all good. But, um, let's go. They get out of pocket. They might just let off the rock. Go against me, you don't want that mistake. Make you look dumb like those tabs in your face. Label them, put your career on the treadmill. How does it feel to keep running in place? Get cut out the circle, no room for you fakes. Cut in the yard, ain't no grass for you snakes. You just a rap without cheese on this plate. Once I stump on the gas, ain't no hate in the brain. Don't call me your friend, I don't wanna be homies. Matter of fact, I don't fuck with you dummies. See that I'm getting attention, and all of a sudden you need something from me. Yeah. All right. So, here's my uh, parallel compression. So, I have it uh, have it being sent to 44 insert and then I have it being routed back to the vocal bus. Um, and then I have my Way Studio Rack set up. Oops, not right here, but on this one. Uh, I have my compressor, my uh, EQ, and my de -esser. These are the three things you're gonna wanna use when you're uh, doing your parallel compression. So, oh. Let me turn the let me turn off the parallel compression and let it play, and then I'll bring it back in and out. They get out of pocket. They might just let off the rock. Go against me, you don't want that mistake. Make you look dumb like those tabs in your face. Label them, put your career on the treadmill. How does it feel to keep running in place? Get cut out the circle, no room for you fakes. Cut in the yard, ain't no grass for you snakes. You just a rap without cheese on this plate. Once I stump on the gas, ain't no hate in the brain. Don't call me your friend, I don't want to be hung. Matter of fact, I don't fuck with you dumb. So as you can see, when I turn it off, it uh, it it seems like my vocals are kind of pushed back, and it, every it's in the mix, but it's kind of sounds like it's getting drowned out a little bit, just a little bit. But when I bring in the parallel compression, it kind of pushes my vocals forward a bit. So it, it's kind of like it's like a good uh, level, or like I don't know, explain it. Like here's my vocals, and then here's everything else falling in place. It, that's the best way I can explain it in, in my head, but um, I'm gonna show you how uh, I blend it and how I uh, set these up right here. And there's more than one way you can do this. You don't have to send it. You can make a whole duplicate. So, so right here, I would duplicate these vocals, uh, make them unique or whatever. You can go right here and press uh, make unique. And then, let's see, hold on. So if I want it, let's just say I made this a duplicate. Oops, right there, whatever. And then I'll go here, put it on whatever send I want it. Oops. And then, oops, where's my thing? Put it on whatever send I want it on, and say I put it right here, and then just have it routed to the, the bus directly. and same thing but i'd rather do it with her here and have it on a sin because say if i wanted to add another thing like on i, ha I had right here like my main vocal my hook 
send it right here. But instead, I just threw my main right here. All right, I'm ready. So, uh, first thing you do after you get it all set up, where you made a duplicate or a send, you want to get your compressor. Uh, let me just turn these off, and then we'll start over. So, you get your compressor. So, you get your compressor, and hold on, let me put this back on. So, bring this down. First thing you want to do is bring this down, tack all the way up, at least all the way up, and do about six on the ratio. All right, so. I'm gonna play it. They get out of pocket. They might just let off the rocket. Go against me, you don't want that mistake. Make you look down like. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the attack to maybe like a one or a two. So it could just be attacking on it. You wanna over exaggerate this? Not too over exaggerated, but just exaggerated enough to where you can make out what's being said, but you can tell how compressed it is. And I'm gonna bring the release down to about like a 300. They get out of pocket. They might just let off the rocket. Go against me, you don't want that mistake. Make you look dumb like those tabs in your face. Label them, put your career on the trip. They get out. They get out of pocket. They might just let off the rocket. Go against me, you don't want that mistake. Make you look dumb like those tabs in your face. Label them, put your career on the treadmill. How does it feel to keep running in place? Get cut out the circle, no room for you fakes. Cut in the yard, ain't no. Now. You can hear the compression. They get out of pocket. All right, now you can hear the compression, but watch this. They get out of pocket. They might just let off the rocket. Go against me, you don't want that mistake. Make you look dumb like those tats in your face. Label them, put your career on the trip. Now, once you uh got the compressor going, you also want to, uh well, you don't want to. They get out of pocket. They might just let off the rock. Put 14. Not 14, but about 10. Right. They get out of pocket. They might just. Then after that, you want to go ahead and pull out your EQ. I like this EQ. Cause they get out of. Because it shows uh, what's going on with the bands and everything. Helps out a lot. Uh, Alright, so. They get out of pocket. Right here with the EQ, you kind of want to EQ it the same way you do your main vocals. Uh, reason being is you don't want to un-EQ'd or uh, unmix parallel compression because now some of the things that you took out in your main vocals are being uh, brought up from the compressor when you raise up the volume. So you want to go ahead and, and EQ those out. They get out of pocket. They might just let off the rocket. Go against me, you don't want that mistake. Make you look dumb like those tats in your face. Label them, put your career on the treadmill. How does it feel? And with my particular vocals, uh, in this area, this sort of my vocal, my vocals uh, frequencies are, are, the, are the most dominant. So you'll hear those the most in my vo in my vocals at least. And so I kind of want to make sure that it's not coming back up. They get out of pocket. They might just let off the rocket. Go against me, you don't want that mistake. Make you. And when you're doing the when you're doing the EQ, you don't have to do it too drastic like you would on your main vocals. Just a little bit, just to make sure things ain't. I'm going overboard. Uh, oops. Bring they get out of pocket. They might just let off the rocket. Go against me, you don't want that mistake. Make you look dumb like those tats in your face. Label them, put your career on the trip. All right. So with the EQ, and then I grab my deesser. Uh, not this one. So I got my deesser. You don't have to go crazy with it, but just bring the threat. They get out of pocket. They might just let off the rocket. Go against me, you don't want that mistake. Make you look dumb like those tats in All right, so let me better explain, too. So you got the compressor that does the barrel compression. You got your attack, your release, your ratio. You want to over-exaggerate. Then you have your EQ. Uh, so like I said, you want to do the same thing like on your main, your main vocals, but you just want to just... Slightly, not a, not as drastic as you would on your main vocals. So, these are the areas in my vocals where I found I had a problem frequencies. So, I just uh, 
dropping down these little areas here. And then you got the esser because now that you're compressing, those those sounds are going to be brought up more. So this was the three things I used. And after that, I turned it down. I played a beat. And then I just slowly bring up the fader to uh, uh, blend it in. They get out of pocket. They might just let off the rock. Go against me, you don't want that mistake. Make you look dumb like those tabs in your face. Label don't put your career on the treadmill. How does it feel to keep running in place? Get cut out the circle, no roof for you fake. Cut in the yard, ain't no grass for you snakes. You just a rap without cheese on this plate. Once I stump on the gas, ain't no hit in the brakes. Don't call me your friend, I don't wanna be homies. Matter of fact, I don't fuck with you dummies. See that I'm getting attention, and all of a sudden you need something from me. Yeah. I moved up a tear. Alright, so. With that, that's how I do the pair of compression. Uh, it's pretty easy. Uh, just takes a little practice to get them down when it comes to the compressor on what you want yours to sound like. Um, like I said, these are three three VSTs I use. I use a compressor, an EQ, and a DSer. You can use this with stock plugins. I just like using these. These work best for me. So, yeah, hope that helped. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, look me up on Instagram. I will be posting uh, tips and, and pieces of my tutorials on Instagram also. So uh, follow me on Instagram. Check that stuff out. Uh, catch you on the next one. Peace.